I love it when people cancel on me. I think that one day you kind of just wake up and you're like, holy shit, I'm kind of like growing up. Obviously, to a certain extent, everybody cares what people think. Confidence is really an illusion. So where are you traveling next? And you could also still be a good friend, but set boundaries at the same time. Are you renewing your lease or moving? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Okay, it's 9.30 in the morning right now and I have three events in New York City today. So I figured why not film a get ready with me. This month has already been so busy and it's going to just continue to be busy. It's June 7th when I'm filming this. It's also my parents' 25th wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary to them. But I figured why not sit down for a minute and just chat about the next month, the summer, catch each other up and just get ready together. My first event is at noon and the other two are at night. So I might come home in between the events. I'm not really sure. The first one's for the brand Astrid and Miu and they're having an event in Rockefeller Park and it's like a little picnic event, which I think should be really, really cute. They're a jewelry brand, so I'm excited. I would do my hair with you guys, but I think I'm gonna blow it out and that's just too loud and obnoxious. So I'm gonna go do that off camera and I will be right back to do my makeup with you guys. Okay, update, I'm not going to any events today. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, there was a really, really, really bad fire, forest fire in Canada, in Nova Scotia, I think. And the air quality and like just everything in New York and Jersey right now is so bad. The air quality is like at a really, really dangerous level. Like it's fully supposed to be sunny out right now and it looks like it's cloudy because of how much like smoke is in the air and stuff, which is, fucking crazy and so scary so i already was like really really anxious about going to the events today but i didn't want to back out of the first one because it's in an hour from now so i was like i i just feel bad but the brand actually ended up canceling which i kind of was like assuming they would so they just canceled so i ended up just pulling out of the two events later too just because i really i would rather not go outside honestly i have asthma and i just feel like it's not smart for me to be going outside in these conditions like i'm scared <laughs> yesterday i walked outside to walk to my car and like i felt it in my like chest so it's just really bad but i decided we could still film a get ready with me and just chit chat and i'm going to take instagram pictures today for white fox so we'll just get ready i'm already halfway there I already blew out my whole freaking head of hair so might as well just fully get ready you know okay this roller's pissing me off i don't want it <laughs> i don't want it in my hair I just made a TikTok about this literally like two days ago. I love it when plans get canceled on me. Like I fully love having a reason to stay at home. Obviously I don't want the air quality to be bad. I'm not saying that at all. Like I really would rather it just be healthy outside. But just in general, I love it when people cancel on me. I love when events get canceled. I love when friends cancel, except like if I'm like really looking forward to something, but on a regular day to day, I kind of get really excited when plans get canceled. Like I, I love any reason to stay inside, but I'm never the one to cancel because I always feel really bad canceling because I really hate disappointing people, but I get canceled on, I'm like, it's fine. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow as a base. I love this stuff, it's so good. Wow, I went from having like the most busy day to just being able to stay at home all day. I'm so grateful because I actually have so much to do. So like I said in the beginning of this video, this month is so, so busy for me. I honestly shouldn't have even accepted the events that I had today because of everything I have going on. But let me fill you guys in. So this weekend coming up, I have my cousin's bachelorette party for the weekend. So I leave tomorrow. It's at a house in pleasant valley i think it's called it's in hudson county and it's a really gorgeous house it literally looks like this house was like picked out of the hamptons and just placed in the hudson county so i'm so excited for that so i leave tomorrow i'm just driving up there but whenever i have to leave like during the week to go somewhere i have so much to prep because my podcast goes up on thursdays and i upload on fridays and i also just randomly had a bunch of brand deals due this week in particular so i just have a lot of videos to edit today and i just had a lot of work to turn in so that's why i'm so busy today and it's honestly just great that i can stay inside today and just get my shit done because i was stressing about when i would fit everything in 
I was literally planning on like not getting any sleep tonight to do it all. But yeah, so, so excited about that. This is going to be my first like bachelorette trip. I've never been in a wedding. I've never gone to anything like this. So I'm really excited. My cousin Olivia is getting married in August and I'm in the wedding. So that's going to be really fun. There's so many fun things to look forward to this summer. And then after I come home from the bachelorette trip, Emma Top's coming to New York and we're working on an Aussie campaign together. So she's going to be here. We're going to do that. That's going to be so fun. And then I go to Arizona the 23rd weekend to go see Avery and I'm going with Anna and my friend Logan who is one of my friends from California she is going as well so we just have so much to look forward to this month I'm so excited oh and I'm getting my hair done when I get back from Arizona and I may or may not be going lighter with my hair which I'm nervous for because I haven't done anything different with my hair in literally years and I just feel like it's time like I just want to change I just want to see myself with a different color hair I don't know I mean it's not gonna be that drastic honestly probably but I do think it's gonna be fun and cute and it will be different but just not like drastically contouring with rare beauty as always I feel like ever since I got back from Europe, it's just been go, go, go. And I have a feeling that this whole summer is gonna kind of be like very go, 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 which is amazing, but also stresses me out because I love having downtime and just not doing anything. But it's all fun stuff that I have going on. So I'm grateful and I'm happy to be having fun. I'm trying my best to not get myself overwhelmed, but I think I'm doing a good job at it. Okay, I'm gonna go through the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. We're gonna we're gonna chat the first one was when will you know when you have matured in life honestly i feel like i am very much so in a maturing era right now i've felt that way for kind of a while but i feel like when you just stop repeating the same like cycles i don't know like i feel like there's been a lot of cycles i would keep repeating that were just toxic and i would get handed the same situation in like a million different fonts and i just would not make the right decisions like i would keep making the wrong decision for myself in many different scenarios and i feel like when i realized that and realized that i needed to start making like better decisions for myself and started kind of like protecting my peace and realizing how important that is that's when i started maturing obviously we're always maturing like that's the whole point about growing up and getting older i mean i guess some people never mature and they're old and still immature but i don't know i feel like in the past like year and a half i really have been aware of energies that i let in and just like putting myself first realizing things that kind of drain me and staying away from that and just prioritizing myself and my needs and what's important in life i don't know i think that one day you kind of just wake up and you're like holy shit i'm kind of like growing up but i also feel like that's a never-ending cycle like we are forever growing and evolving and maturing and learning if you have the mindset of like i'm perfect i am completely mature and i have no more learning to do you are very naive. You never ever stop learning in life. How do you get the confidence to start posting on social media? You kind of just have to start and you have to just not give a fuck what people think. Obviously to a certain extent, everybody cares what people think. Like nobody wants everyone to hate them. Like I don't think at least, I don't know. But the only people who are gonna judge you for posting on social media aren't happy with themselves because like who really gives a fuck what other people are doing with their life, you know? Yeah, you basically just have to stop caring what people think and you really just gotta live in delusion that has really been the main thing that has really helped me just like live a happier life like fully obviously like you have to be aware and like smart and not like stupid but living in delusion to a certain extent literally makes life so much better it's just fun it's also a form of manifesting just living in la la land and like just knowing that everything's gonna work out for you because it is everything always does work out so yeah just delusionally post on social media and don't think about the people from high school who are gonna see and probably laugh because what are they doing like they're fucking if someone's sitting there and making fun of you like they need to get a life truly like hello who cares about those people next i'm setting with the laura mercier translucent setting powder this stuff is my ride or die forever and always truly it's so good tips on how to enjoy your own company this is something that i feel like is another part of just like maturing and growing up is just learning how to be comfortable alone the day that i fully was 
so satisfied just hanging out with myself was like the best day of my life i swear but a good starting point is definitely going and taking yourself to do fun things like let's say you want to go to the beach and you don't have anyone to go with just go by yourself like take yourself to do the things you want to do have fun with yourself because if you're just always moping around when you're alone and waiting to have somebody to do things with is just like training yourself to kind of be miserable alone you know so you just gotta start somewhere like take yourself to the fucking zoo take yourself wherever like anything that you want to go and do just go and do it by yourself start having fun with yourself take yourself on a freaking picnic take a book with you have fun and then each time that you go and do those things alone the more and more you'll get comfortable doing things alone and the more you'll enjoy just doing shit by yourself i love doing things alone solely because you don't have the opinion of anybody else like you go to the restaurant you want to go to you stay at the place you are at for however long you want you have no judgment of others you fully can just do you and completely be in peace and like in the moment with yourself i don't know it's just like comforting and nice obviously doing things with other people is fun as well but there's something about like just being by your fucking self and not having the opinions of others that's why i really want to take a trip by myself because like that would just be so nice to just be able to like be on your own time and just do whatever the fuck you want that sounds amazing what book are you reading right now so i just started every summer after and by started i mean i could not concentrate so i actually need to start it again um i read the first chapter and i fully couldn't concentrate because there was too much shit going on in my head so i need to restart that but i'm really excited to read it i need more books so any book recs please comment them i like romance books like pretty much solely either like self-help books or romance books those are like the only two things that i read so let me know how do you stay so confident see confidence is really an illusion because trust me there are many many days where i don't feel confident where i feel ugly or i'm just not happy with the way i look or i'm not happy with my body or something i just am not always confident but fake it till you fucking make it confidence is truly something where you fake it till you make it because nobody on this earth i promise you not even the most perfect person is a hundred percent confident with themselves and if they say that they are they're lying everybody has bad days and everybody has things that they are insecure about and when you realize that it makes life a whole lot less scary because if you're walking around thinking that everybody but you is confident it's like oh fuck like what's wrong with me but truthfully everybody has insecurities and everybody struggles in some sort of way so i think that on those days where you're not as confident you just have to learn to not beat yourself up over it because it's normal so for me it's definitely an ongoing thing that i work on but I feel like the more that I take care of myself and the more that I spend time with myself and the more like I focus on working out and like eating well and just taking care of me and putting myself first, the more confident I get. Something that I've noticed has actually made me more confident is like setting boundaries. I feel like for the longest time, I was kind of a people pleaser and I still have people pleasing tendencies because I really don't like disappointing people but like it was to the point where like even if I was so busy and really didn't have the time to do something but a friend asked me to like help them with something I would say yes even if it would stress me out and I have learned that saying no is fine and like your friends aren't going to be mad at you for being busy and putting yourself first and you could also still be a good friend but set boundaries at the same time that has really helped with my confidence because I am like listening to my body and I'm not neglecting myself. The more that you put your needs to the side to help other people, the more that you're neglecting yourself and that will in the long run fuck up your confidence because you are neglecting yourself. So I don't know. I noticed like weeks where I'm taking care of myself and putting myself first and journaling and making sure I am good mentally, I feel more confident. So it all starts from within. For for sure did you enjoy seeing taylor night one or night three more okay they both were such amazing shows that i i don't know i really loved night one because i feel like her performance she was just like so energetic and so excited to be there like it was night one she had so many surprises and i loved being there with my family and the tailgate was really fun and i had like been looking forward to it for so long that it was just like so exciting and then night three was so great because it was so spontaneous i went with anna and we had the best time we were so close i feel like she seemed a little bit more tired the third night which i mean i would be dead so yeah but i don't know i feel like there were things that i liked 
about each of them like I, I don't think I could like pick a favorite um because they both were great I feel like I definitely saw her more the third night like we were so close and had such a good view but they both were so fun the setting spray I've been loving the Too Faced makeup insurance it smells nice someone asked when are you reuniting with Avery and then asked where are you traveling next and I already answered both of those I'm so excited to see Avery I haven't seen her since I went and surprised her for her birthday in August which has been a while also I feel like my body is so pale my face is so tan right now but we're gonna ignore that oh this is so exciting wait I can't believe that I haven't talked about this because I feel like it's a big thing but somebody asked are you renewing your lease or moving? And I actually just resigned my lease literally this week. I'm so excited and so happy. This will officially be the longest apartment I have lived in to this day. <laughs> my last apartment I only lived in for a year and then I moved back to the East Coast. But I'm really excited to spend another year in this apartment. I feel like it feels like home. I love this apartment so much. The location, everything about it, I love it. And I'm honestly just so happy I don't have to move all my shit. Moving is so annoying. I do love moving though. Like I love organizing, so it, it kind of is fun. But I feel like I just have so much going on this month that like if I had to add moving on top of it, I would lose my actual mind. So really grateful that I resigned. They only raised my rent by like $200. So that was a win because I was actually scared that they would raise it more. But didn't so that was good i'm so glad that i love where i live because i was very nervous about moving to jersey last year i didn't know if i would like it i don't know i was moving back from la which i can't believe i've already been living back on the east coast for a year it honestly feels like i never lived there to be honest that feels like a lifetime ago like all the experiences i had there literally feel like a different life but you guys know i originally really wanted to live in new york city and Jersey just ended up making more sense. I liked the apartment better. I hated everything I toured in the city. Like I just did not vibe with it at all. I kept saying like, after this, I'm gonna find a place in the city, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't think I ever wanna live actually in the city. Like I feel like living outside of the city is a way more chill life. Your day to day is just so much more chill. I'm just so happy that I like it because I don't know. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. And I'm just happy that I do because I wasn't happy with the location and where I was at when I lived in California. So I was kind of scared that that would happen again. Like I was kind of like, am I just going to be unhappy everywhere I go? Because I really thought I would love California. But I will say if my family lived in California, I probably would have never, ever, ever left. But being far from family is fucking hard as shit. I could not do it. But I do want to plan a trip to California soon. Like I have not been in over a year and i really want to go because i honestly like do miss it i oh wait i need to curl my lashes i wouldn't want to live there again but i do miss it like i want to go visit what's something you've learned about yourself that you didn't know that's a really deep question hmm i feel like i'm constantly learning about myself i feel like as i'm getting older i kind of surprise myself with how independent I have become and how independent I am because when I was living in my hometown my anxiety was actually like a million times worse like I would get anxious before going into restaurants by myself coffee shops by myself like so many things that I would do by myself made me really really anxious and I could not do them but now like I fully think I could do anything by myself like I I'm very comfortable being alone now so I think that realizing how independent I am has really really shocked me I also was like in a relationship for a long time where I was very reliant on the other person like I really relied on him for like social interactions and like just everything like I I would make him go into stores for me like I just hated doing things by myself so I think that when I like became single I really just wanted to like be good by myself like I didn't want to ever rely on anybody ever again and I've become such a strong independent person and I love that about myself it's my favorite part about myself probably and I just didn't know she was in there so this is your sign that if you feel like you could be more independent that version of you is in there somewhere you just gotta find it you gotta unlock her and the more things I did alone the more confident I felt in doing them 
how do you balance your work and social life i love you in your video so much thank you i love you more i feel like that is something that i really work on because i definitely prioritize the people in my life a lot and i love having a fun social life they're doing like construction outside my window and i don't know what to do about it it's really loud but i try my best to make plans in advance with friends like not super in advance but like the week before i'll be like hey this day let's do this and i kind of like plan my week out because if i don't do that i honestly would probably just end up not seeing anybody ever but i also try to save like my social outings more so for the weekends and during the week i just get my work done if anything i will get my work done early in the day and then be social later in the day it just depends kind of i'm really lucky that with what i do i can shape my schedule however i want to so sometimes if i am having a more social week i will just like get all my work done within like two days and just like pile it all up which i'm grateful i can do but it definitely takes work and sometimes i get so overwhelmed with balancing all the different parts of life like working out taking care of myself hanging out with friends working like everything it, it is hard to balance and you just it's a lot of trial and error because it is fucking hard but you just gotta make time for the things that are most important to you you know l'oreal telescopic mascara will always be that bitch can i just say let's try a new lip liner i just got a bunch of liners from mac they sent me which is crazy i'm gonna try one i haven't tried let's do spice i've heard that people like this they're all kind of like nudes that's pretty it's like a peachy nude this color is so cute Okay, then I'm just gonna take this YSL lip balm in shade 02. It's just a clear one and go over top. So pretty. I mean, I love this lip color. It's kind of giving fall, but it's pretty. Okay, cute. That's the makeup to sit in my apartment. <laughs> I just cannot believe how busy of a day today would have been. And now it's just gonna be spent inside and I don't have to socialize, which is great. Here's the final look. Kind of cute. I would have been late for the picnic. I would have had a literally rush. It's 11.54. The picnic would have started in five minutes. I don't know how I would have gone ready in time, honestly. I was like really gonna be late. Okay, I'm gonna put on a cute outfit and then I will show you guys the final look to take pictures for White Fox. <laughs> The yellow hue in my apartment right now is really fucking crazy. I'm actually terrified of the outdoors right now, but I just got dressed. I'm literally just gonna take pictures right here in my apartment. I also changed my lip color to this YSL lipstick in 05 because I feel like the pinky shade kind of complements this outfit nicely. But this is the look for the pictures. It's giving Instagram bad. And I haven't, I haven't taken a picture with that energy in a while. So that's the look. You guys can use code Amanda in all caps for White Fox. But this outfit's so sick. I love it. So that's what we're taking a pick in. And then these boots are from Amazon. So I can link them for you guys. Yeah, that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me. I really enjoyed talking with you guys and just sitting down and chilling. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I love you guys a lot and I will see you in my next video. Bye.